Hi everybody, welcome to my updated for 2024 PC DZ Community Server Beginner Guides. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can change the spawn loadout of your players when they freshly spawn in on your map. But before we start, I just want to remind everybody that in the description below this video, you'll find a link to this playlist. So these are going to be all of the updated for 2024 PC DayZ community server guides. Um, you'll also find a next video and a previous video. I'm trying to record these in some sort of logical order. So that if you're new to this, and you're working through them each video will kind of build on the last in terms of knowledge and what you need to know uh, how to do also you'll find a link to the console version of these videos as well and although lots of things are very very similar sometimes there can be the odd uh, subtle difference and sometimes not so subtle so i'd recommend if you're on console go through and look at that playlist so 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 here we go let's get started so you may or may not be aware that you can have it so that when your fresh player spawns in they could spawn in with a kit like that so you wake up on the beach in Chernerus or by the river in Livonia or on any sort of custom map with something like this loadout where you've got a weapon you've got gear you've got food in your backpack um, or maybe even something like this so what I'm going to show you in this video is how to install these two particular loadout files. One's kind of a Russian loadout where you get a KAM and some and various bits of Russian gear, which can be slightly different. And one's like a, a NATO um, loadout where you get the DAM and various parts of NATO equipment. Now, as with everything Daisy, there's more than one way <laughs> about doing this. So. Also in the description below this video, you'll find a link to the official Bohemian Interactive Wiki page that explains how this works. But, like everything on the wiki, it kind of only really makes sense when you know what you're doing, because there's some quite complicated things going on. But once you kind of understand it, you're like, oh, I can see it works. The most useful thing on this page is if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see use cases and these are really good because you can just click on the vanilla setup and click on the use case and you can see okay so if I want to add an AKM on the left shoulder and and have it these bits on it this is how you do it so you can use that as a starting point if you want to work that way also um, the guys over at daisyboosters.com have a daisy loadout generator link so what I'll do is I'll link to this so this one you can actually go through and add things it's in beta at the moment and unfortunately it's still a little bit complicated to do so the thing I would recommend you do is what we're going to do in this video is you're going to use some preset files that I've already created so we're going to download those and you're going to install them and you're going to be able to get them working on your server so you can experience this because Daisy is a completely different game <laughs> if you spawn in with food and weapons as, as you could probably guess um, and in the description below this video, with these links, there's going to be the AKM DMR um, loadout. There's also going to be an NBC and police loadout link as well, which you can go through. And once you understand how it works, you can install this one, which is a rather natty police officer who's got a scout or a pioneer. Um, and there's a guy who's in NBC gear with an M16. There's also going to be a link to an m4 and svd loadout so again we've kind of got a nato loadout where the guy's got an m4 a1 um or you can spawn in sort of as a russian guy with the vsd or the dragonov kind of uh, dmr sniper rifle so that's that's pretty good cool but we're going to start off simple we're going to start off with the ak and dam loadout which is going to end up kind of looking like this so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to my GitHub repository, the uh, DAISY123 military AKM and DMR one. Um, and on the green box that you see here, we want to download this file. So you click on the green box and you go download zip. And that will then download to your computer or download to the downloads folder. And if you go into, the, into where that would be, if you just make a new folder, so say new folder, and we'll call this um, server loadouts, like that. And then you can just drag and drop the zip file into there. So we can go in here, and then we can right-click this, and we can say extract files. Um, what am I doing? Extract here, sorry. 
Da, 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 so there are. So they're in this little folder here. So the um, you've got the pictures, the PNGs, so you can look at them. And then the files we're interested in are the AKM loadout JSON and the DMR loadout .json and the README file. So if you right click Edit with Notepad Plus Plus, highly recommend that on Notepad. Look, open up the README. What I've done here, as I do with all of my GitHub repositories and mega repositories is this is a step-by-step -step instruction on how to actually just how to actually do this as well so if you have trouble following the video or you can't have the volume on or something like that this is just a text version of it um, and it's got all the bits that we need to copy and paste into certain files as well to get it working so that's kind of that bit what, what, while we're here why don't we also open up say the DMR exam uh, ex underscore loadout dot json and what you do is you can ha just have a don't edit any of this but just have a look and you can kind of maybe get a little bit of a flavor of remember how we've talked about opening and closing tags within things um, and you'll see all the different items and maybe you get an idea of actually i will sort of customize this in the future but i would say at this point don't customize everything just get it uploaded onto your server and working so that you've got that and then you can always customize stuff as well as we go along so have a good look at the readme and it kind of explains everything that we need to do but what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to our server so we go into the dashboard and we want to make sure that your expert settings are turned on so you want to go to expert mode this is on nitrado if you're with other server providers or you're doing this on a local server or you've got a dedicated box where you've got access to all of the files what we're interested in is the server dz.config file so when we click on expert settings in a nitrado um, pc server and then we click on the expert settings here this is where it takes us so in effect this is a server dz.config file so this is a kind of a file that tells the server certain settings that it should start off with including things like you know the map that it should start off but also down here there's some really important stuff and so what you want to do is you want to click stop server and you'll want to make sure that enable cfg gameplay file equals one you can see it already is on my server because i've already done it it should be zero on yours if yours is a fresh server so change that to one save you'll see the save item will appear and then restart your server because the cfg gameplay um, file is a really important one and we're going to be using it quite a lot and it's very very powerful as well um, it enables us to do some pretty amazing things okay so what we can do now is if we now go to our file browser and this will kick you over here we can now go to daisy standalone and we can scroll down a bit and what we want to do is we want to find them the MP missions folder so you click on there we can scroll down here now this is a Cherneris server so we're going to click on daisy offline dot and we're going to scroll down here now at this point what we want to do is we're going to create a new directory okay so we're going to do new directory and we're going to call it custom like so we're going to say okay so and then we're just going to go back to daisy offline dot plus I call this kind of the root directory of the mission. There you can see we've now got a custom folder, a custom directory. Now we do this because this is where we're going to put the custom files that we use. So the custom loadout file that we've uh, downloaded, we're going to put it in here. Now, if you're familiar with Daisy PC Community 7 modding, you may be saying, well, why are you doing this, Rob? Because well, you, you don't need to do this step. If you wanted to, you could put the files in with all the others. So there's a couple of reasons. Um, the main one is that when we're doing this on console, we have to put them in a file called custom in the root directory for the mission. Otherwise, the server doesn't read them. So if you're watching any other of my um, tutorial videos and it's anything to do with some sort of custom file, you'll always be finding I'll put them in the custom folder. So, um, so it's just simpler for me to do that. Also, I think it's quite good practice to keep your custom folders, <laughs> custom files, in a separate folder, just so then they don't get mixed up with all your CFGs and all that sort of stuff that you have down here. You're less likely to make a mistake um, and accidentally delete it or something like that. So we've now got custom, which is there. Um, so that's pretty good. So what we can do now is if we click on custom, we can see it there. So it's empty at the moment. Um, and you remember how we downloaded these files what we're going to do is we're going to upload the dmr uh, underscore loadout.json 
and the AKM uh, loadout drip chaser. But before we go that far, we're just going to do a little step here. And we're going to imagine that you actually had done some editing on one of these files. Let's say we've done some editing. What you do, again in the description below this video, you'll find a link to a JSON formatter and validator. Uh, JSONformatter.curiousconcept.com So what we're going to do is we are just going to browse on my computer, go to the downloads, and we're just going to check that, there we go, that this file is correct. So dmrloadout.json. So let's open it, let's process, and it's valid. So that's good. So you would do that to any file that you're going to upload. You validate it with a JSON validator or an XML validator. Super important that. That way you'll catch a mistake. So now we're just going to click on Upload File, go to Downloads, go into Server Loadouts, go into this, and we're going to upload the AKM loadout. So I'm just going to left click that with my mouse. I'm going to press Control and I'm going to click DMR Loadout.json as well. So they're the two loadouts we're going to upload. I'm just going to click Open. And this is now going to upload. So now in our custom uh, directory, we've now got the AKM loadout.json and we've got the DMR loadout.json. Really cool. So nice and easy. So now let's go back to the root directory of the server. So daisy offline.churnerus plus. Scroll down, and this is where we can have a look at CFG gameplay.json. Um, again, this is another one where I don't really recommend editing files in the web browser, but what we're going to do is pretty simple. So we we'll probably get away with it. So if we click on CFG gameplay.json, scroll down, but down a bit, we can see this is this is where we've got the CFG gameplay.json. Now, if we go back to the file we downloaded, and remember we opened up the README, didn't we? If you read the README <laughs> and scroll down a bit, I've got the instructions here on the extra bit of code that you need to add. And basically, underneath the disable personal light false entry, um, but before the stamina data entry, for this particular loadout, we need to add this line of text, spawn gear preset file. So we can left click and drag and just highlight all of this. Then we can right click, copy. Then we can go back to the here. And there we can see there's the, there's the bit we want. So we can just left click after the comma, press enter, Left click there, do a control V to paste it. And there we go. So a spawn gear preset files. And you can see you can see the, the address. So the address is in the custom folder and look for AKM underscore loadout.json. Then there's the comma. And then in the custom folder, look for DMR underscore loadout.json. And we close the uh, speech marks, then we close the square bracket, and then we've got the comma that takes it on from there. And then all we need to do, we hit save changes. So that's now saved. And all we need to do is hit restart server. And from this point onwards, anybody who dies or is a fresh person joining your server, they will be given one of those loadouts, the AKM loadout or the DMR loadout. And within those particular loadouts, there's randomness of the gear that they get as well. So they all get the same weapons in the AKM loadout. They all get an AKM, and in the DMR loadout, they'll get a DMR. But they might have different colored jackets or different colored backpacks, different colored boots, that sort of thing. So there is a little bit of variation that way. And you can add more loadouts as well. So we could add all of the others. And the kind of the rule of thumb is, is for every file that you add, so if we go over to, say, uh, here, uh, let's have a look. So if you downloaded the AM4A1 loadout and the SVD loadout, and you would click code, download, zip, and you would extract them, then you would upload the JSON and the SVD loadout uh, dot JSON. You would upload them to your customs folder, and then, he said, if he clicked on the right thing, and then in here, you would just add a little um, comma, and then put in the titles. But remember, as long as you open up the README for each pack of loadouts, you'll see that you'll be able to copy and paste that bit there. So you can copy and paste that bit there. You've just got to make sure that in between each loadout address, you've got a comma. So you've got a comma there, you'd have a comma there, and then you'd have the next one. And then the final one before the right square bracket, you wouldn't have a comma. And again, you would save and restart. But what I would say is for now, though, just put those two on there because it's nice and simple. Save, restart, log into your server, kill your character, 
and just see if you you come out as a, with your cast start as one of these um, loadouts, and you'll be like, wow, Daisy is a completely different game. So there we go. Hopefully, you found this video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.